Hello, my name is Aaron Campbell. I teach at the University of Tampa, and today we're gonna work on playing our C scale together. Now, I use a trigger trombone, so you're gonna see me using trigger trombone slide positions, but if you don't have a trigger, that's okay. I'm gonna show you your slide positions as well. So, speaking about different slide positions, the very first note of the scale, the C, is actually one of the ones that we can vary between. So if you're playing a trigger trombone, you're gonna to wanna to do it actually with trigger in first position. But if you don't have a trigger, go ahead and do it in sixth position. For me, sixth position, sometimes it goes out a little bit too extra far. For me, sixth position is just kind of like my arm with like a little bit of a crink in it. It's not the full extent of my arm. It's just kind of like a, most of my arm without going and stretching out. Then we're gonna to move to fourth position D, second position E natural, first position F, fourth position G, second position A natural, fourth position B natural, and third position C. So I'm sure you noticed that I didn't say flat or sharp. This scale doesn't have any flats or sharps in it. So when we play it, we wanna keep that in mind. So why don't we go ahead and try playing it. I'm gonna set my metronome to 60. We're gonna play whole notes and we're gonna go up the scale first and make sure we got that going well. So here we go, C scale going up. So why don't we go ahead and play that scale. We're gonna do whole notes. So why don't we go ahead and play that scale together. We're gonna to do it at whole notes at 60 with the metronome and we're just gonna go up the scale for now. All right, great, now that we can go up it, let's work on going down. So we start on that third position C up top above the staff, then move to B natural in the fourth position. Not a heck of a lot of motion there. Then A natural, second position, G fourth position, F in first position, though I don't go all the way in for this F, I kinda just a little bit out. E natural in second position, D in fourth position, and then C if you don't have a trigger in six, if you do have a trigger in trigger in first position. So let's try going down the scale now, still at whole notes, still going at 60, let's just come down the scale. So now that we can play it up and down, we're going to add the arpeggio toward the end of it. Arpeggio just outlines the major chord or the first note, third note, fifth note, and then the octave or the first note again, just the higher version. Um, it just outlines those notes. So we start on that C, either six or in trigger, move to the E, second position, fourth position G, and then C, third position. So let's try playing that up now in whole notes, just like we did with the scales. <laughs> Cool, so now that you can do it up, let's come down. So we're gonna start on that top C down to G, second position E natural, and then C, either sixth position or trigger in one. Let's try coming down that arpeggio now, same way that you did earlier, just 60 whole notes, working our way down the arpeggio. Cool, 
cool. So now that you can do the scale up and down and the arpeggio up and down, we're gonna squish those together and we're gonna make it into what we call the all state pattern, where you're going to play the scale up and down, and then you're gonna play the arpeggio right after it. The only weird different rhythmic thing that we're going to do is you have a half note at the beginning, you quarter note while articulating up, half note at the top, legato tongue on the way down. The other instruments slur trombones, we have to legato tongue down because we can't slur. Then you're going to tongue up and then legato tongue down. The only other difference is rhythmically you have a half note, then quarter notes all the way until you get to the top. Then it's a half note again, quarter notes all the way down, half note, quarter notes up the arpeggio, half note, quarter notes down the arpeggio, half note. Every time you play a C, you're gonna play a half note. Now that's a lot of information, so let's kind of wrap our brain around it by singing the scale and moving our slide around while we sing it, just to make sure that we really have it in our heads. So just like we've done everything, we're gonna do it at 60, but we're gonna do it in our new all-state rhythmic pattern. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, E, G, C, G, E, C. Great, so now that we can sing it, let's go ahead and play it now. Same speed, same rhythm that you just sang, just now playing it on the trombone. Awesome, now that you've got that really working well, let's go ahead and bump it up just a little bit and go at 80 beats per minute. Now that 80 is working for you, let's jump over to 100 and push it a little bit more. And let's go as fast as we will in this video. Let's go at 120 and see if we can do it at that speed really well. Now going that fast can make the legato tongue difficult. So you want to make sure that you practice that do 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 do. You want to practice that and get that really good slow and just slowly work it up. Not just the scale, but also how good our legato tongue sounds because sometimes when we get faster, we kind of get that slidey. We don't want any of that in our scale. So just make sure you're working on that do 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 while we're coming down. So most of the time when you see the all state pattern written out, it's actually not in half note then quarter notes. It's actually gonna be written in quarter and eighth notes and we're gonna work on doing it in that rhythmic pattern right now. So that 120 that we just did, I promise you we're still not going any faster than that, but that 120 we just did, if you listen to that, that's 120. And if I cut that in half, that's 60. And we're gonna do it at quarter and eighth notes at 60, but it will still feel like the 120 did when we were doing it half note and quarter notes. But just like we did when we learned the all state pattern in the first place, let's go ahead and try to sing it at this new rhythmic pattern just to make sure we can really wrap our heads around it and we'll go ahead and move our slide at the same time as well. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, E, G, C, G, E, C. Great, so now let's try playing it in the exact same way that we just sang it. Uh -huh. 
Cool, so keep working on it. Good luck on memorizing all of these scales, and thank you so much for practicing with me.